Okay, so I thought I'd do a little uh, video diary of um, setting up my Apple, my new Apple TV to be a music streamer. This is my stereo as it is, my hi-fi as it exists today. Um, the, everything, the only source is a CD player and everything um, I listen to is from CD as the source. Um, I have uploaded all my music into Apple Lossless on my desktop computer. So um, today my Apple TV arrived. There was like a three week back order on it. Um, so I'm gonna um, show you uh, the equipment and then I will uh, unpackage it, install it, and um, sh film the, uh, the result. And so hopefully it's all gonna work out okay. Okay, so here's the equipment uh, that will be involved in the uh, installation of the Apple TV. We have the uh, Apple TV itself. Um, this just arrived in Care Federal Express. Um, as you can see, box is in fact quite small. Um, beautiful Apple packaging, HDMI. Uh, 802.11n um, Wi-Fi compliant, so we have that, and then we have cables. We need cables, so we we have um, this is the uh, optical digital out that will go into the Hi-Fi, um, a good quality, but nothing nothing fancy, and um, I will need this. This is a standard. Actually, Amazon.com is making their own cables or relabeling them. This is an Amazon HDMI cable that was like, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe for 3 meters. So that should work great. And then um, over there on the uh, counter is the actual unopened box for the TV that I will be using. I'm going to temporarily just set the TV on top of my stereo, but eventually I'll be mounting it um, in a more permanent location on the wall. <clears throat> I think. I think that's what I'll be doing. So, all right, next step, unpacking. Okay, so let's take the uh, wrapper off the Apple TV and see what's inside this box. Beautiful, gorgeous Apple TV. Beautiful remote, and look at the size of this thing. Just tiny, fantastic. So, <clears throat> see, I appear to want you to, oh, there's a um, nice little sticker over the uh, edge, I guess, to protect it from scratches. Beautiful. So there you have the actual unit. It's, um, there's the connections. <clears throat> So it's got optical audio, HDMI, um, looks like a, um, an Ethernet a connection for hardwiring it to an internet. Um, I'm not sure what that is, maybe mini USB? And the power, of course, that's the power. So that's it. And then... Um, Beautiful. All right, so nothing to that really. Very, very compact. And then you have, wow, look at the size of this remote. One of the things I was wondering about this remote was if it had the uh, click wheel functionality of the iPod because that anyone who's used that knows how terrific an interface that is for 
navigating through a list of things. It just works so great, and it really is one of the things that makes the iPod um, stand out. And um, but I think that this does not have it. I think that you just um, click the four corners. That's kind of what it feels like. I don't believe this is any kind of a click wheel, but we'll see how it works. So it just has uh, the uh, left, right, up, down button, and then a menu and the play pause button. But it's a very thin, beautifully made piece of. Um, I don't know if that's. I think it's metal, some type of um, aluminum. So it's not plastic. All right, so that's it. Those are the two pieces. Okay, so a um, few hours have passed. Uh, lighting's not great in this room, so I don't know if the uh, video is going to suffer. It probably will a bit. Um, I had to put the, the kids to bed. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. They are sleeping nicely, so I can get back to this. As you can see, I've got uh, three things hooked into the back of the Apple TV. Um, this is the uh, power cord that came with the Apple TV, and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean... I've never seen a power cord quite like this. It's it's completely flat, and um, surprisingly, it does not have uh, a what they call a wall wart, which is one of those um, enormous um, trans. I guess they're they're transformers that plug in directly into your outlet. Um, we have them in the U.S. I don't know if the U.K. has the same kind of thing, but uh, I guess all of that is actually inside the unit because this is just a regular plug which will plug directly into my um, you know, into my wall uh, outlet. This uh, is my Amazon HDMI connector, and this is my Toslink uh, optical digital um, cable, which will connect to the stereo. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hook all that up, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, here's the Apple TV unit hooked up. Uh, the uh, Toslink digital output is going to, into my benchmark DAC. The uh, HDMI is going into the TV. And then the, uh, the power cable is going into this um, power conditioner that has uh, uh, eight banks of outlets in the back. So all this stuff is plugged into this. Um, so now I'm just going to run through the, uh, the Apple TV setup menu and show you what that is. All right, so let's see how we how we do here. Um, select English to connect to the internet. Choose your Wi-Fi network. All right, mine is that third one. Okay, select the type of Wi-Fi security your network uses. Um, don't know. I think it's actually the second one the 128-bit hex value. All right, rather than making you sit through that, I'll pause and enter that giant um, hex value. <laughs> okay, I've got the, uh, the pass key in, uh, entered. Um, it wants me to take a survey. I will pass on that. All right. Now it appears to have content already. Um, I guess those are movies that I can purchase from Apple, which I have no interest in doing, but um, the picture looks fantastic so far. The remote control is actually pretty intuitive. Um, it makes a nice noise as you click, and you can hold down the, the remote button, and it then moves all the way through. It will glide through if you hold down. Um, all right, so I want to connect to home sharing because I want to get to my iTunes library. Ah, enter the Apple ID used to create your home share. If you don't have an Apple ID, create one using iTunes on your computer. Okay, um, so I will pause and enter all this information. Okay, so I've got the uh, Apple TV connected to my Wi-Fi. It sees my computer, 
that uh, the computer I have home sharing turned on for iTunes. Um, that's my library. So I select that. Um, it is a very nice interface there. It's showing me some of the uh, album art that I have. I have all the album art downloaded from the internet. Um, so that looks pretty slick. Um, let's look at the music. So I can search by albums. Um, let's see. Going back to that menu, or I can have playlists. I can search um, by artist, by song, by genre, um, by composer. So let's do albums. And so there's all my albums. Um, so let's just pick something to play. Say um, the Audrey's. So select that. Play. So we are now hearing. We're now here in the Apple TV. I gotta say, I really like the um, the visual of seeing the uh, the album artwork. Uh, pull back. So let's see. I can get back enough to get the whole stereo. There we go. That's kind of what we have now. Menu. Let's go back up. Select something else. Say um, the national. That's an excellent selection. Play. Stay in super late tonight, picking apples, making pies. Put a little sunburn in our lemonade And take it with us, put a life away In a fake empire Put a life away I gotta say it sounds very good In a fake empire Tiptoe through our shiny suit With our diamond slippers on Do our game Bluebirds on our shoulders, we're half away. 